guys, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. How are you, Paul? Good. Excellent. And what are you cooking today for us? Well, I figured it's so nice outside, we might as well do some English style fish and chips. So, what kind of fish? We got haddock. And we're, you're also going to teach people how to make uh, tartar sauce? Yes. Uh, and you already have some fries, and they're super crazy oh, thick. Yeah, the fries I cut at work and blanched just because I knew the time getting home and yeah. that we were and you got rest for time in the sun. Restaurant already. equipment at, at the restaurant to life uh, easy. yeah make life easy for us. So are you ready to cook? I am. Let's do it. Okay. I think, I think that dog is hungry. <laughs> okay. So I got some all-purpose flour. So we're just doing a small amount of fish, so we don't need a ton of batter. Okay. You're gonna do a beer batter? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a beer batter. Oh yeah. So I've got all purpose flour. That's probably, I'm just even trying to think what I got there. I should, you know what I should do? I should actually bring a measuring cup home and give people exact uh, <laughs> measurements. I'm so used to just doing things. And, uh, I thought you were gonna drink that one. This one I'd like to, but I'm gonna, we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do a blend here. Okay. So okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna open your Guinness. Oh boy. I got the old Guinness. Listen to that. Oh, listen to that. Oh. I'll put some stout in here. I find the stout, if you if it's straight Guinness, I just find the batter's too dark. I like the blend like half. Oh, that dog. There's a dog making me crazy. So you want is you want like thin pancake batter, the consistency. And a little bit of time because you don't want it you don't want it too runny because then you're adding flour and you'll see the lumps are kind of come out as I'm doing so that. Be patient. Patience. Patience. It's pretty. It's, and it's pretty quick. And I mean, don't drink you all can, the beer. I mean, this this kind of meal you got your fish you, and it's, if you're blanching fries, you can, it's pretty quick. Kind of looks like crepe batter, eh? It does. A little bit darker because we've added Guinness, so you can see the colors darken a bit. And right now I'm, I put some Modelo in there. <laughs> and in your tummy. Mm. <laughs> oh, after a hard day's work, that's so good. Oh, yeah. So you know what you're doing? I start the tartar sauce. Everyone, you know what's funny? Is that people were complaining. Like there was, or I should say people. Like one person put a comment and said, oh, there's no capers in your tartar. There's so many variations of tartar sauce. Yeah. If you don't like capers, don't put it in. It's same with if, you if like you're capers, making Caesar dressing and you hate anchovy, don't put it in. So for whoever had complained last time, I'm going to put it in this time because I love capers. Aw, doing what the people want. Yeah. Well, the person. Do it. <laughs> the, yeah, the person. No, I think there was like uh, there was a couple of comments. I mean, there's so many variations on uh, yeah tartar sauce. So I'm gonna dice some onion fine. La 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 la. And I'm just gonna throw this in a bowl here. Oh, and I didn't grab a fork. Let's see if I can do this. You can do right it, Paul. Inside. You can you can do it. Right there. there you go. Look at there you go. That was a cool noise. Hear that? That was oh, yeah. awesome. So I'm gonna dice up some pickle. So we got some fresh dill pickle. Mmm, these smell great. I'm gonna have to eat one. I gotta sit here and drink pickles. I mean, drink beer and eat pickles. <laughs> <laughs> did I just say that? Yes, you did. Oh boy. It's on the video forever. Nice. Look at the spoon I chose. It doesn't fit in. Oh, it barely does. There we go. Ken's eyeing the pickles. I know you want to eat one. Yep, that's what I want. Throw that in there. A little moutard. Oh. And my favorite, mayonnaise. Oh, oh. boy. Oh, boy. Right into the pile of leaves. Oh, yeah. Tart, tart, tart. -tar. Our oil should be, yep, yeah, where oil's at temperature is coming together good, Ken. Timing's great. Sweet. I'm gonna throw the fries in. And the batter's resting. Aww. Aww, oh, let it rest. <laughs> Some lemon juice. Nice. Mm. And we'll throw the fries in, then we'll get the fish going and we'll be ready to eat. How was that? That's pretty quick. That's, that's let me awesome. watch. Damn uh, fast. On my five minutes exactly to this point. Mm. Okay, we're at 350, we're gonna get some fries going. Always be careful too, putting, oh, obviously yeah. when you're dealing with uh, Super fried intense. things, you'll always get, because they're blanched, you'll always get uh, like the condensation. Put, right, so it turns kind of... Well, the, the it's always the water that's, same with when you, whenever you do fries, so there's different methods. You can 
Um, you can boil the blanche, but you got to be careful that you don't overboil because you don't want it falling apart. And you want to you want to put in a cold bath water first, dry them off on paper towel, and then into hot oil. Blah 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 blah. Well, I wanted that nice English looking French fry. So these were cut by hand. It's easy to do. Like when you're slicing a potato, yeah, I could pretty, have, pretty you good. cut them thick in lengthwise, and then once you drop it outside, then you do about the, roughly the same size on the other side. While that's cooking. We should probably sample some beer. Let's do it. Okay, Paul, what do you have for us today, sir? Well, I don't know if you're gonna like this, Kenny. And we didn't even bring any glasses because I got you a Guinness, and we've used some of your beer for That's our fish right. batter. Everybody knows what Guinness tastes and like. And then I'm drinking uh, Modelo, which we, I think we've even sampled before, which is delicious. And, and I've got this one. I don't even know. I, don't, I should put some glasses on, but this is Fracture Imperial Pale you, Ale. But you what I can it. see. 9.1% <laughs> So, want me to run in and grab two glasses? Are you gonna try this one? Let's do it. Just a tiny bit for me, man. That's, is that tiny? That, no, tinier than that. Cause I might really? not like it when I got that thing to drink. Oh, that's true. Here, I'll give you this there. small little thing here. This smells like a grapefruit. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's delicious. Rusty grapefruit. <laughs> It's like rust and grapefruit in a glass. It tastes like something so delicious, nectar of the gods. There's no nectar in that whatsoever. Ah, but I've, you drank it fast. Does that mean you want another one? I've had, oh, I just want to get rid of it. Oh. I've had nectar before and it has nothing like nectar. It has a really bitter shit taste. I would say it's very smooth for an IPA. Um, very grapefruity when you first have a nose, but the finish is like clean. No? If you have tried this, let people know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with Paul. If you had four of those in an evening, you'd have the worst hangover in your life. I'd feel wonderful. <laughs> well, all right then. We're almost ready, Kenny. Couple of minutes. We'll lift about. Minutes? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to butterfly these so they cook faster for us. So what I'm, gonna do is I'm just going to make a slice on the side and then bring it down like that. I'm trying to keep it and as one them. piece still. Yes, keep it as one. So don't come all the way through. So I just, just want to fold it like that. That way it's going to cook faster and look bigger. Those look perfect, Ow. Paul. That's hot. Let's cook some fish. <laughs> How long is it? How long is it taking? I know we look at this. I just want to show the, the viewers here. These are we keep eating the fries. They're, they're gone. So, like Ken and I just keep opening this and, and eating them, and they're almost going to be all gone because we can't stop. Just so we can oil the heat back up. We got this beautiful haddock, and you want it really dry because if it's wet, the batter is going to fly off. Oh, there's a secret right there that I never knew. So about. we're going to coat it in flour. That'll just ensure that it's, it's nice and dry. And we're gonna put it, and this is nice. When you have a small bowl like this, you're able to sort of lift it towards what you're gonna the the oil that you're dipping it in. So you can kind of go back and forth, let the excess oil drip off, and you can actually oil. just rub it on the. Sorry, batter. God. You, like you know what? That's beer. it. No more beer for me. So you want to coat it. See how that's that's holding on yeah. there? You're just gonna sort of hold it in. It's gonna it's gonna bubble up right away, and just hold it down. But you don't want that oil on your fingers. And you can actually no do kidding. is you can actually wave it back and forth and you'll see it so you see how it started to float right away ah. like within seconds at that point when you feel it lifting in in the oil you let go if you let go too soon it's going to sink to the bottom and stick oh. and then you're going to have a bit of a mess so the next one in same thing just do the same thing you want to coat drip it nicely drip. you can, you can uh, get off the excess oh, oil ec the excess <laughs> batter sorry did i say oil <laughs> i'm just kidding you did it the first time. And then you're going to set it back in. You don't want it touching the bottom, but you just got, you can, I mean, you can even wave it back and forth and you'll see it'll start to float, for, float uh, pretty quickly. At that point when it's floating, you can let go. You can, Sweet. And see how she's, look at that, beautiful. How long do you think each one? It's going to be pretty quick, it's going to be a few minutes. Because look at our temperature, we're still at 350, which That's is nice. Awesome. Oh. I want to let go quick. So I'm just going to give my hand a quick uh, wash there, right. come back out, and let's start eating. Yeah, my next question was, do you turn them over? Yeah, you'll see how it's 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 um it's browning. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a turn there. And this is pretty quick. Just a couple minutes. Give it a turn, you'll see because the underside you want the oil coat to be nice. I'm gonna set it I'm gonna get grab some paper towel cell plates so we can drain the uh, the oil off and then we're ready to plate it up. We're gonna put a little bit of Himalayan salt on there. Oh the Himalayan people. The Himalayan. Look at the steam on those bad boys. 
Nice black pepper. I'm coming in. Oh yeah. You can feel the heat on that. I know there's going to get a little a bit of a roll in that. It's beautiful paper. It looks cool. like newsprint, but it's wax it's for restaurants. So I thought I'd bring some home just to make it. Oh, sorry, Kenny. Can you can you get that like at the uh, restaurant restaurant supply? Just restaurant supply. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. I'm just gonna set that on the paper towel just to drain the, the fat off. Little the bottom one. Really little fries. Oh, we just we just sampled the fries with the salt I and know, the pepper like... on it. <gasps> it was so good. Can you do two or you want one? One, please. And then Matthew will all like that. Oh, a little tartar on the side, right? I'm gonna put it right on like this, so it's gonna drizzle oh, it across. Even better. Perfect. Ready to eat? Let's eat. All right, guys, we are ready to eat. <laughs> I've been eating already. <laughs> As I'm doing all the social media stuff, Paul's just like, nah, 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 nah. his is like half mine now. I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah. Start, oh. What? What do I do? I thought we talk and then we eat. What do you do? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up to him. I know. I'm trying to take fry strategically out so you can't tell they've been out of the plate. You did a, you did a good you know job. Do? I'm gonna put a little more black pepper, but I don't want it on all of them. Oh, Thank yeah. you, sir. Oh. So we should squeeze some more lemon on? Yeah. So we got some lemon, I got some malt vinegar. Look at that, just drizzle it over it all. Look at that. Oh. And is, it, is it like a blast for me to use white vinegar? Or no, it's malt vinegar is a Malt vinegar is sort of like the, the staple. Um, when you just put it on your fish or everything? Whatever you like. It's, it's personal preference. So some people don't like vinegar at all, but it, it gives you that like that little bit of a zest in that. I mean, you're going to have the flavors in that in your... Uh, Oh, you don't want to drink that by accident. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah, why not? All right, let's go. Oh. Let's go straight into the fish, because you guys have already seen us been eating the French fries the whole night. Oh, a bit of sauce. Oh, look that. at that! Perfectly cooked, Paul. Sweet. Here we go. Mmm. I love French. I love fish and chips. Damn, that's good. Perfectly cooked. Super mm. thick fries. Mmm. As soon as Paul put the pepper and the Himalayan salt on the fries, it went right through the roof. Wow. Uh, I, I've mentioned it several times in the past to people on my channel and my vlog that as I'm getting older, I've discovered sometimes I've ordered fish and chips in restaurants mm -hmm. and it doesn't make me feel very good later on. And I'm guess it can't be the French fries because I eat French fries on a lot of different things and that doesn't bother me, but it's the deep fried fish. I'm not well, yeah, it's. I mean, it's heavy, and I mean, you're you're frying, so you're you're getting. Fries I know, but I eat fries. I guess maybe the oil gets seeped into the fish more. or... Well, the batter does hold a lot of oil. I'll put a little title up here, and be honest too with you, if this bothers me later on or not. Oh my! I want to talk about this bad boy. Oh, don't do it. A friend of mine, Richard brought me a whole ton of peppers, I'm gonna make some sauces. But he brought me some jellies that he made. And last Sunday we had a little get together. And you're still and, alive. Uh, we had this one, Devil Tongue, Brain Strain. So we made all these, um, the uh, chocolate scorpion. And so, some of these were so hot. We, we just What'd you put it on? We just, we had... Um, Devil's Tongue Jam. Mm. We did a bunch of different stuff. So everyone sort of contributes. We had four families over, the kids. We did up uh, souvlaki, steak, chicken oh. breast. So it was all barbecued. We laid everything out in the kitchen, salads, potatoes. Everyone just went by with their plate, took what they wanted. And of course, some of the adults, we, we had some of this uh, different hot jellies. And oh boy, was it hot. Oh, don't, oh, dude. This one's called Devil's Tongue. I'm not, I'm, and I know it's really hot. Oh, it's too much. I'm just gonna put a little bit, because I want to dip some fries. I'll put it on the side so it doesn't, uh, Annihilate you. The one we found the hottest was the brain strain. But is, it, is it sweet or is it the, the, the heat of it just takes over everything? The heat takes over everything. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point it's of making it into sweet. a jelly? You ready? It's, um, I'll we'll put a little bit on there. Oh gosh. It tasted good for a second. Was it? <laughs> 
Holy cow. Not hot, eh? Mmm. It tasted really nice for one second. And then mm. the heat just attacked the tongue. So just uh, in moderation. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing you don't have to tell anybody about. Whew. The uh, homemade tartar sauce, dynamite. I'm done. Are you? How'd that mm. happen? Oh. I really wish you guys could experience what I just ate because it was seriously like the best fish and chips I think I've ever had. So I'd like to thank Paul. Dude, that was awesome. I'm so glad that you decided to do that. Today. I want to eat more. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> I'm not sure if you I can see. Like, yeah. Paul's glistening on his lip oh. and his nose is all, all Oh, wet. that's good. That is so funny. Paul, once again, thank you very much for an amazing meal. Uh, please check out the recipe, uh, copy this recipe, try it out. I know a lot of you guys are sending me pictures, uh, emails saying that you've tried this and uh, you guys are enjoying all the things that Paul's cooking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by. For the, if this is the first time you stop by and you love this video and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. It's probably around, right around here maybe. Uh, but if you wanna support this channel, hit it with a thumbs up. And if ding, you wanna ding, 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul cooking review. Ken and Paul out. Boop. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do a cheers instead of a boop. Cheers. Cheers. I like the beep though. I, I, I kind of wait for that. Okay, ready? Okay. Boop.